you know, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with them, right? You're nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I, uh, were, well, you being there would help. I guess, but I can't always hang around, you know? Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging around. Hey, remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go ahead and you can tell me all about it after the rehearsal? Okay, then it's decided. Bye! She just jumped into a bush? You'll be fine. Wow, what a wacky gal. Receive note, wacky gal. Someone's a little... Cuckoo in the head. Okay. So this is where he meets Sophia, probably. Welcome, you're one of the newcomers, right? The rehearsal's gonna start in a bit. You should go warm up at the practice hall first. The creepy music's kicking in. Hey, get that horn off the couch before it gets drool on it. Oh, relax. There's always drool everywhere. What? Why is there drool? Okay, so he's going down there. <laughs> Get the hell out of the couch before I get through all that. What? Is this about his memories getting messed up as a kid with his dog? No music has me worried. Alright, there's our guy. There's Doggo! Did you see it? Did you see the ghost Doggo? Hey, the world's about to start! Chop, chop! A couple of blank pages. All right, so we found the memory. Or the memento. There was a ghost doggo down here. Is this the right place? Sophia. Ugh, I can't believe I'm late. Did you just push yourself by him? Was that... Sophia? Guess so. Meeting Sophia. Paul and Sophia met at the community band rehearsal. Okay. This is really weird. Because she's at the pian she's at the piano. Colin's over here. Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar twenty thirty six. From somewhere on my right side. Dum dum dum. By someone in the cello section. Someone sitting in the second row toward the front. Colin, is it? I think you are rushing a bit. Better watch that. I will. Alright, let's pick it back up from bar 35. Right into the solo. Ready! Why is he getting spotlight? Everyone looks cooler with a metaphorical spotlight. Okay. Metaphorical. Our guy sure is dramatic with his memories. Ah, percussion. The real hero of the orchestra. I remember that one time. I single-handedly... Stop it. I've had enough of stories from your triangle playing days. <laughs> oh, 
Well, at least things worked out. Things kind of worked out, you mean? Or we wouldn't be here. For an amateur cellist, he sure had balls to ask out the concert pianist. It's not the er, it's not the military, Neil. Maybe he's got the guitar on his mind. Alright, so I should be able to... Nope, I still need a memory. Never mind. Oh no, I turned that one in, didn't I? No, because it would be a different color. Let's just check. I want to say I already turn them in because this bar is full. Goodness. This is all sorts of wacky. Oh, those turn goofy colors. Oh, when stuff crosses them, they change. Okay. Interesting. This book again. I am still confused. Ooh, an aquarium with fishes swimming. All right, I'm done with mine. Me too. Let's see what you... What is that? My best effort. <laughs> Going on dates already? He sure moves fast. Well, you're still skipping around. Some time's probably passed. Quick pencil sketch. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who he learned to draw like that from. <laughs> they went to the aquarium. I went on at a date. On an aquarium. That was very fun. Hey, that picture looks familiar. Hey, where's it going? Is that the stingray petter as an exhibit? Because that's the best exhibit in my aquarium. It's an octopus. Wow, for a cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. It actually kind of tickles. He got inked. Really? I was gonna say that better not be a regret. Dude, all the fun, crazy things that make life worth remembering, he regrets. You gotta appreciate the mistakes and the goofs and the flub ups. Colin took a squid to the face on the first date. That's. <sighs> oh, there's me. It's the little things, dude. Why is this even in the petting pool? the last one. TV's trying to shut up. Is there another door somewhere? Like that? There you go. 
Not a door, but a hallway. Oh my god. Whoa. She took off in a hurry. That's this fractured memory? No. Jellyfish! Oh, I love her. She's so excited. excited. Look at the shark. Uh, are you feeling all right, Eva? So many of them. She loves jellyfish. See, and that's another good thing they really did in this game is it's all the story is about these two people that are just like observing someone else's memories and you are learning about the lives and the history of these people there in their brains but they develop these two characters as well and they give them these little quirky personalities and stuff and just make them memorable as opposed to essentially narrators to the story that you're you're reading through or you're learning about they actually have their own little sub world that you can appreciate good stuff well uh it's good to have interest other than gardening, I guess. Go take care of this memory, will you? Just leave me be for a while. Right. She loves jellyfish. That's adorable. Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while, I stopped going and I stopped playing. But I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem, because it really got to me. And whenever I doubted myself, I'd remember her words. One day, I had enough. And I said to myself, someday, I'm going to be a concert pianist. But isn't that... Like, letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter which path I take as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time in this life, and we're never able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there's always... There'll always be other things to try, other paths to take. So, in the end... I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones I took. Take note. Colin, she's calling you out on you trying to rewrite me in your, your memories here, dude. But I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? Ah. Uh, I wanted to fly to places. That's it? A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I... I just wanted to find... Wanted to go find them again. Was that a Cthulhu? Up there? That flew off the screen? Anything important going on? Oh. Anything important going on up there? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. <laughs> Okay, call me when you're ready to move on. You sure aren't a fan of us. I didn't go call her. Is she gonna get mad? Sucks. Can't move. Can't move. Can't move. Can move. Can move. So it's only these two that can move? Oh, I didn't see this one. That's significant. Crap.
No, oh boy. No, dang it. Not what I wanted to do. That needs to go. I don't like this puzzle. How do I get these ones, man? I can't move any of those. this way um I don't know how to solve this puzzle this isn't making sense to me I don't know how to do this one. Did I break this one? There's no way. Oh, I need to get the airplane up there. Okay. I just misunderstood. No, ah. Uh. Why isn't the airplane moving? Man, I really don't like this puzzle. It's obnoxious as hell. throwing me off really hard for some reason. <sighs> hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch you right up. It doesn't sound like standard operating procedure. You sure are taking your time? Hey, no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in, hours in time, huh? You better have. It's gonna be a different world out there. You ready to go on? Yeah, in a minute. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase. And yes. <laughs> What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Wanna draw a plane? No one will be here to see it. Eh? 